Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are looking at a cow that has a puncture wound on one of her back feet. So let's get started on this and fix her up. Now, if you're asking yourself, how did you even know that this cow had a problem to start with? And how can you identify that mark as a puncture mark and not some other type of wound? Well, it comes down to two different things. Number one, I knew she was sore based on the way she was walking. She was limping on that foot. As far as it being a puncture, the location of where that, that injury is, where that mark is, can only be a puncture. There is nothing else that we see in a cow's foot in that particular location in the sole that coincides with anything else but a puncture. So it became pretty obvious, limping foot, saw that mark, the shape of that mark being a straight line that we had a type of puncture. As you can see now, as I've started to uh, carve that area out, what was a nice long line at the beginning has started to fade away. That's telling me that whatever she stepped on was likely something uh, triangular shaped that was wider at the base as it went in, kind of a point, and you can see here, there's still more to take away here, and there's definitely a cavity underneath this that we need to look at. I know that because she's sore. I know that it has punctured all the way through. I tried a little bit of a different angle with this camera shot. I'm not sure I executed. I may have just made everyone motion sick with this, but regardless, what I've got going here is I'm just removing some more of that horn from around that puncture site. And you can see I'm starting to get some fluid here. I know that there's a cavity underneath that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hang this camera back up and trim this like I normally would and get this area opened up. As I've begun to get through this solar layer, you can see where that uh, initial puncture was, but I'm not done yet. I've got more to remove here to open this up, so we get back to work. I'm gonna glue a block to that opposing claw. As you've seen in a lot of my other videos, this is gonna allow that injured claw to rest. And put all the weight on the good claw, no weight on the other claw. Obviously that's the painful claw. So we'll take the weight off of that, and let it heal for a little bit. As that glue cures, I'm just gonna finish trimming up this claw here, thin the margins from around that puncture site itself and then we'll finish getting this cleaned up and ready to go. Give you one more last close-up of this. We've got right above my finger here is that uh, initial puncture site. Got all the loose horn removed from around that. That's the key part of this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray this out. I'm not gonna give this a salicylic acid wrap this time. I know that's the favorite of a lot of people, but not this time. This farm does an exceptional job with dermatitis. There's almost zero cases of it on this farm, so I don't have to worry about having to wrap this foot. Just a spray down, the chlorhexidine is gonna do the work. 
So let's let this girl go, see how she's doing. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.